everybody's Mike the Man with versus negative.net. And my last article that I've posted is called Are Arch Negative Women More Likely to Have Autistic Children? And what's really scary is that some people have commented without even reading the article. And this video is for those who cannot read good. At no point have I ever said, refuse a Rogan shot. Because if you're an Irish negative woman and your husband's Irish positive, you need it. Unfortunately. And thankfully, right now, you have the option to take Rogaine without Timerosol. Because Timerosol contains mercury. Before, Rogaine just had mercury and before that, aluminum in it. So, needless to say, there's a reason it's been taken off the market. It's a good reason. Um, and so I'm looking into the future. I'm looking into the positive within the future. So don't demand that the raw game shot without Himerosol. If you are Rh negative and your husband's Rh positive. Now, the problem that is going on right now is that the standard operating procedures vary from country to country. And as far as I can see, none of them got it right. So let's look at a couple of policies. In Europe, for example, in many countries, you get the raw game shot after your first pregnancy with an Rh positive baby. And basically, they're assuming that if you've never been pregnant before with an Rh positive baby, you cannot have the antibodies. And this is unfortunately completely and 100% false. Because if you, for example, are Rh negative and your mother is Rh positive, the blood would mix in the fetus. And the same way that an Rh positive fetus will trigger the antibodies in an Rh negative mother, the same way the Rh positive mother's blood will trigger the development of antibodies in an Rh negative fetus, meaning that you are already born with developing antibodies. And that means that whenever decades later you decide to get pregnant, and they tell you you cannot have the antibodies, it's unfortunately false because in many cases women have the antibodies already. And that's why there are so many chemical pregnancies and so many miscarriages, especially let's say your husband is arch positive positive homozygote. That means the only outcome for a child would be that the child is also arch positive. And in that case, of course, guess what? You need the shot. And when you have the antibodies already, which you can only find out if you have an antibody screening right now. If you are an Rh negative woman and you're planning to get pregnant, you need the antibody screening and you need the raw game shot before conception in an ideal case. Which brings me to the standard operating procedure in a country where unfortunately the autism spike has been very severe in the last 40, 50 years, which was a time when raw games started to come on the market, by the way. What a coincidence. Basically, in the United States, you give the shot 28 weeks into the pregnancy. 28 weeks into the pregnancy. That means if you have the antibodies, there are 28 weeks within which your antibodies can attack your fetus. And these antibodies will also attack the brain cells. And they say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Well, maybe physically. If a boxer trains, he becomes physically stronger. But nobody will say uh, your brain power increased because you got hit in the head so much. This policy has to change. And also, when you're in the United States, you, if you want to become pregnant, you need to demand an antibody screening before your pregnancy. And should you carry them, you need to get the anti-D shot before you become pregnant. Because this is the only way to make sure that your antibodies will not attack the brain cells of your unborn child. Now, of course, the standard operating procedure, as ridiculous as it is, as horrible as it is, also demands that you get a shot if your husband's Rh negative. And in that case, of course, you don't need it and you should not get it. But you need to make sure 
that in fact your husband is arch negative, that he's not a weak D, that he uh, that he get a, get a test done in the exact same hospital where you plan to have your child, and tell them you demand another blood test for your husband, and then if in fact you have it in writing that he's arch negative, then you can refuse and sign that you don't need the shot. Okay. I hope I made things a little bit clearer and I will post below the article one more time and things have to change. And I understand that autism, there's a lot of high functioning autistic kids and we cannot, we cannot look at autism as uh, disability, as a horrible disease and, and this and that. We need to provide opportunity for all children uh, as individuals. So if your child is autistic, Make the best out of it, okay? But what I'm talking about here is not high-functioning autism. I'm talking about the many children that are born with such severe disabilities, they'll never learn to read or write properly. And this is why these three things that I have just talked about are very, very important. Number one, when you get raw game, choose the timerosal free option. Number two, you want to get pregnant, get an antibody screening done now. And if your husband's RH positive and you're RH negative and you have the antibodies, demand the shot before conception because only then can you make sure that your antibodies will not damage your unborn child. Thank you very much for watching. This is Mike, demand for negative.net, And please subscribe to my channel. There's a lot more to come. I'll see you guys later.